Parallaxis method a method to measure the large distances distance of stars or planet distance before getting into the method of measurement we must know what is parallax to understand parallax let's try this activity you see there are five mark lines on the screen keep your thumb in between your eyes at a distance say 3 inch and now close your right eye and see your thumb here your thumb is shifted to the right with respect to gray line in its background now let's close your left eye this time thumb image shifted to the left now let's take your thumb or object away and keep at distance around 6 inch from your face and repeat the same experiment this time separation in thumb location is comparatively smaller this shift in image when you see the object from two different locations in our case the location of right and then left eye is known as parallax the angle between lines of vision is known as parallax angle and the distance between two observing locations is known as parallax basis so as we keep on increasing the distance of object its parallax or the separation between images keep on reducing and at the same time parallax angle keep on decreasing as well so there is a direct relationship between the distance of the object we observing and the parallax angle an increase in distance reflect a decrease in parallax angle and vice versa this relation only help us to measure the distances of stars or planet distance the same experiment you can do by putting a mark on a wall in front of you and see the shift in your thumb or ruler image Now let's see using the parallax method how to measure the distances of a star or planet distance Here you see two diametrically opposite points on the earth A and B C is a planet for which we need to find out the distance from the earth A and B are two observation locations similar to our left and right eye When we see the planet from location A line of vision is AC and we see the planet image to the right of three blue stars Similarly when our observation location is B we see the planet image to the left of these three blue stars Now here AB represent the distance between two observing location which is nothing but the parallax basis and the angle theta is angle acb is a parallax angle and the distance ac is the distance of the planet from the earth we know that theta in radians can be presented as the ratio of arc upon radius in our case theta here is a parallax angle arc is basically arc ab and radius of the circle is ac which is equal to the distance between earth and planet so in case when r the distance of the planet is far far greater than the parallax basis which is nothing but the diameter of the earth in this case in this situation we can say that arc ab is equal to ab the straight line distance between point a and b so by rearranging this formula we can say the distance of the planet from earth is the ratio of parallax basis divided by parallax angle in radians whenever you use this formula make sure that the parallax angle is presented in radians So to find out the distance of the planet we must know parallax basis d and angle theta 
we know the distance between our two observation locations that is equal to the diameter of the earth but what about the parallax angle nowadays we would be using a highly precise telescope integrated with angle measuring scale to measure the parallax angle to understand how we measure the parallax angle let's consider observation location a the telescope the line of vision makes an angle theta 1 with reference line on angle measuring scale and for location b it makes an angle theta 2 So the parallax angle can be given by the sum of these two angles theta 1 and theta 2. Now there might be one more question in mind of students when they are looking the distance r the distance of planet from the earth. The question may be here that why we are not measuring the direct distance of c from the middle point or center of the earth in this case since r the distance of the planet is far far greater than the distance between two observation locations a and b the theta is very small i will say very small means it is in the range of 1 arc second and 1 arc second is 1 by 3600 part of 1 degree when theta is so small we can say these all these three distances of the planet from point a b and d are same now let's see how we can measure the planet size to measure the diameter of the planet we first observe a point a on the planet and then we observe diametrically opposite point b using the same telescope and measure the angle theta between these two line of vision this theta represent the angular size of the planet and now if this distance is r which we have measured in previous case then we can find out the diameter of the planet by using the formula diameter is equal to the distance of the planet multiplied by angle theta in radians here angle theta can be find out by measuring the angle between two line of visions of telescope for a point diametrically opposite on the planet and that's the way we can measure the distance of planet or stars from the earth and we can find out the diameters of the planet by using this parallax angle parallax basis and distance of the planet from the earth now let's apply this knowledge to find out or do some parallax numericals Numerical one: The moon is observed from two diametrically opposite points, A and B. The angle subtended at the moon by two direction of observation. This is theta. Theta is given by one degree fifty four minutes, which is equal to one degree plus fifty four divided by sixty, and this is equal to one point nine degree. So here we got this distance, the parallax basis. The d is equal to one point two seven six into ten to the power seven meters. And now we have to compute the distance of the moon from the Earth. So here we know that theta in radians is r upon radius, which is nothing but d upon r, and we can use r equal to d by theta. but the important stuff here the theta must be in radians and we have theta in degrees so first we need to convert this degree into radians by multiplying pi by 180 and this equal to 9.3 into 10 to the power minus 3 radians now we can find out r by dividing d with Theta in radians, so this is equal to 
1.276 into 10 raised to power 7 divided by the angle in radians which is 9.3 into 10 raised to power minus 3 radians. On solving this, we will get the distance of the moon from the earth which is equal to 1.39 into 10 raised to power 9 meter. So if we know the angle, the parallax angle and the distance between two observation location, we can find out the distance of the planet. Numerical number 2. The angular diameter of sun is 1920 arc second. Here that is theta and the distance d of the sun from the earth which is here r in our diagram is 1.496 into 10 raised to power 11 meter and we have to find out the diameter d of the sun. So here theta is equal to 1920 seconds and we have to convert this into radians. So let's convert this into degrees first. So 1920 divided by 3600. This is approximate 0 0.53 degree. And to convert this in radians, we need to multiply this 0 0.53 into pi by 180. And on solving this, we get 9.3 into 10 raised to power minus 3 radians. And the distance of the sun from the earth is given which is equal to 1.496 into 10 raised to power 11 meter. We know theta in radians is equal to d by r. So here d is equal to theta multiplied by r, the distance of sun from the earth. So which is equal to 9.3 into 10 raised to power minus 3 multiplied with 1.496 into 10 raised to power 11 meters. And on calculating this, we will get the diameter of the sun which is equal to 1.39 into 10 raised to power 9 meter. And that's your answer. Now it is a time for a question for you. Put your answers in comment box. I hope you would have enjoyed today's session and if you think you have learned something new today then please click like button and subscribe us for similar type of videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.